Hi everyone. A while ago on my blog, I done a, um, a small review on the Pantone Huey Pro. Um, it's a calibration um, sensor and software that you can buy for calibrating your monitor. And if you're into photography, then really that's a must. You should really calibrate your monitor. Um, but anyway, it came up um, earlier on tonight that it was time to check the calibration. So I cancelled out of it at the time because um, I was busy doing something else. So I thought I would do it and I would, would um, sort of do a screen record at the same time. So as I could put it up with the review I'd done. And it's just to show really how easy it is to do, what you have to do to do it. Um, and how quick it takes really, because it takes no time at all. So what I'll do is... I'll start the Huey Pro, click on start, it says place the sensor in the cradle so that the LEDs are facing you, um, well it is, so I shall click next, it says do you see three rings in the upper left hand and two rings in the upper right, um, well yes I can clearly see, um, even though they're subtle I can see three rings here and two on the, um, on the right hand side, so I'll click next, it says place the sensor on the display as shown. So now obviously you won't see me do this because I'm using a um, screen capture to record this, not a, a video camera. But I'm going to take the sensor out of the cradle and there's eight suction cups on the back. So I shall lick my finger and just brush it over them lightly. And now I've got to place it on the monitor over the picture of the actual um, sensor that it shows with the three LEDs facing up, so I shall touch it on there. And I will point out at this point that I'm, I've got a Dell multi-touch monitor, which is why you saw that little bit um, pop out there, that's a keyboard. Um, but the first time I've done this, I actually disconnected the USB lead uh, to disable the multi-touch. Um, but the second time I didn't bother and it didn't sort of make any difference. The only thing is sometimes you'll get, um, you might see um, a ring dancing around, especially afterwards when I take the um, sensor off the screen, but that's only because I've got a multi-touch monitor. Um, with a normal monitor, um, it doesn't do that. So I'll click next, and now it's going to start the calibration process. And what's happening is, um, there's four LED lights on the sensor and they're flashing as they're measuring the ambient light which at the moment it's night time so I've got me uh, house lights on. Um, you can see the process here or the progress here sorry um, as it's going through these little green dots are coming up and what I will point out is afterwards because I'm using a screen capture software to record this, not a video camera, um, you won't actually see the difference in the calibration. Um, maybe at another time I'll sort my video camera out and sort of do it again um, using the video camera so as I can do a picture in picture. So now it's um, actually calibrated the monitor. It says place the sensor in the cradle so the LEDs are facing you. So you'll hear me pull it off the screen there. And I'll put it in the cradle. And I'll click on next. And now it's showing me the um, corrected and uncorrected. Um, now like I said you won't see any difference. Um, but me looking at the monitor I can see it. A clear difference between the two. So I'll click on next and it's going to ask me to name it so I shall just click next to overwrite the last one. Um, and now this is a difference between the Huey Pro and the Huey. The Huey Pro gives you a choice of profiles for the colour temperature and the gamma. That because that little ring that's going around that's because I've just taken the sensor off of um, sort of the uh, sensor off the display, like I said it's a multi-touch monitor and it tends to upset it for a minute but it, it will calm down in a minute. 
Um, but like I was saying, um, with the Huey Pro, you get the choice of these different profiles. With the Huey, you don't. Um, once it's calibrated, it's sort of a doesn't give you an option. You you have to stick with the one it gives you. Um, so I shall click next. And basically now what it's doing is asking me if if I want it to monitor the ambient light um, and sort of make any changes to the calibration as the ambient light changes. So I'll say yes. And basically when you do that, you just got to make sure that you leave the um, sensor plugged into your computer via the USB and you leave it in the cradle. So I'll click finish. And that's the uh, calibration done complete. Now as you see, it didn't take very long at all. Um, if you take out the time that I spent um, explaining it to you and talking to you, um, it wouldn't have taken any time at all to do. Now at any time you can come into the um, Huey preferences here and you can make changes. Um, you've got room light monitoring. I've got it set to 15 minutes, but you can do it from every 10 seconds up to four hours but I tend to leave it on 15 minutes and all that does is every 15 minutes the four LEDs on the um, little wand or little um, sensor will flash as it measures measures the ambient light and if there's been any change in the ambient light since the last time it done it then it will adjust your monitor accordingly settings this is where you can change the um, profiles for your color temperature and gamma um, I don't know if I explained this, but the color temperature is basically your white point, and the gamma is the light contrast. And reminders, um, I've got it set to remind me every 14 days, but you can have it set to remind you every day if you want to. Um, depends how often you want to calibrate your monitor. Um, and that's it. So I hope that's been helpful. Thanks for looking and I'll see you again soon. Bye.